Now we're going to talk a little bit about what happens when you're not straight in. I can still shoot a stop shot, but now I've got a slight angle. What happens with the cue ball? If we understand the concept of the stop shot, we can accurately predict the direction that the cue ball is going to go and the distance that it's going to travel. Because now we have things like our personal template, sure. where we know where our hand finishes, our grip hand, where our tip finishes, and how to adjust the speed of that swing, <laughs> and how to adjust the tip on the cue ball. If we understand the concept of the stop shot, now we can take a stop shot with an angle and, and predict accurately, consistently, the path of the cue ball off of that contact. Tangent line. Tangent line. Uh, what is a tangent line? A tangent line is, by definition, 90 degrees. When the cue ball strikes an object ball, when they part, the cue ball always travels down the 90 degree or the tangent line. How far does it travel down that tangent line? Depends on several variables. It's up to us, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So we control the tangent line as long as we know where that 90 degrees is. We can forward, on it, or backwards. All right. So you're going to keep the same stroke? Same stroke. Same template? Yep. Stroke speed? Yep. Are you going to change tip positions a little? Mm, a little. Okay. So your first job is to what? My first job is to shoot a stop shot with the three ball. So the three ball goes into this pocket over here. All right. And the cue ball will then travel down this All line right. toward the side pocket. It may or may not go in the pocket, but it should travel this line toward the pocket. Then I'll mark for them where they stop. So we've got a really good indicator. All right. So stop shot. Stop shot. That's perfect stop shot. No spin on the ball. All right. A perfect stop shot. Let's do it one more time now. Okay. Nice speed. That was good speed. And the definition of a stop shot is no top spin, no bottom spin. All right. Notice my hand finishes in the same place each time. So, my tip finishes in the same place each time. So the 15 ball now is going to represent where your cue ball stops at a stop shot or where your cue ball goes to on a, on a, a stop shot. Now, what happens if you want to go forward of, of your tangent line? Well, now I'm going to change where I'm aiming on the cue ball so that rather than it sliding into the ball, it will be spinning either forwards or backwards. How about just three tips up? There we go. Okay. So now my cue ball will have spin on it, what we call directional spin, so that when it begins, it comes off of this line headed this direction, but that forward spin will cause it to bend across the tangent line. The tangent line being our 90 degree line to the pocket here. So rather than traveling this direction, it will travel here slightly and then bend and go toward the rail. So, so changing your speeds? No. Same speed? Same stroke? Same stroke. Changing tip position? Tip position only. It's too easy. So the 14 ball then will represent where your cue ball would go on the same shot with top spin. All right. What happens if you go below center? Let's say two tips below center. That's probably draw in our book. Absolutely. So the cue ball starts out on its tangent line. So now my cue ball is also have directional spin, but it's on the bottom. And so it will now go down the tangent line and bend away. How much? Well, it depends on the speed of the stroke, but at the same speed we're doing here, Probably just a little bit, a couple of diamonds difference, maybe. Sure, and this is new cloth. Very new. All right, so here we go. Now, once again, stop shot, perfect tangent line. Ahead of the tangent line with top spin. Now we're going to look at behind the tangent line with bottom spin or draw. Or draw. Okay. Boy, nice finish. Look at his finish position, and look at here. Now, Scott, I'm going to put the nine ball on the rail to represent where the ball goes with a little draw. All right, now, at home, here's our job. Got it? Yep. After you find stop shot, three tips up and, what, two and a half, three tips down? Mm -hmm. All right. 
I'm going to ask Scott to go touch those balls again. So let's start with, can you touch the 15 ball? Sure. So what did we do now? We made a slight error. And slight what was error, it? and I was a little above center. So the ball had a little top spin going in. Very right, slight. Let's make our correction. Okay. Nice shot. All right. Now, can you touch the 14? We know he's going to have to hit some topspin on this ball. Nice shot. All right. I'll go back and mark it one more time. I'll get you those for you. And now how about the nine ball? Sure. And what do you have to do here? Go two tips low. Same stroke speed. Take it home. Oh, right on it. Not a bad shot. Look at this.